Ah, heading for the peace and quiet of the countryside. I said peace and quiet of the countryside. Cutting the hedge down and shredding everything. It's too noisy. Well, hello, John Neal here. It's Tuesday, the 21st of February. It's Shrove Tuesday. Great day for a bike ride. Let's go. I've set out on my usual route through Stoke Golding and this is Dadlington and this is Stapleton Lane so I'm going straight on to an area which I don't usually go to um, but Stapleton is on the next main road off towards Ashby. Anyway, uh, today I've gone as far as uh, Stoke Golding, Dadlington, and then I've come over to the, oh, I don't know, what, it's a main road that goes up and down here. And um, yeah, I've crossed over. I don't usually come over this far. So um, over to Kirby Mallory and Desford, and then back around to uh, Marky Bosworth. And uh, yeah, bike's going great. Still got that little knot going. I did tidy up the um, pedal on the right hand side. I think I might have to take it apart completely later on. Anyway, there's this uh, very interesting track here that it goes uh, for about a mile or two to join up with another main road and then went into uh, Kirby Mallory. Let's go. <laughs> telling you this is a uh, really quite pleasant very quiet which I hope you would be I spend quite a bit of time just pouring over the map at home a GPS map it's called and it's basically an ordnance survey map and uh, yeah you find pretty nice little roads like this so ginger biscuit cup of coffee we had pancakes for uh, lunch, by the way, for it is Shrove Tuesday. I don't know if this is the case all over the world, but uh, tomorrow's Ash Wednesday, which is the start of Lent. I used to be an RE teacher as well, you know. I know these things, among other things, taught lots of things. Um, but yeah, Shrove Tuesday. Uh, and the idea was that throughout Lent, you would not eat all the fancy things in the kitchen. So you ate them up the day before, which is today. And uh, so the flour, the eggs and the milk would all get used up, um, fortunately, to make a decent pancake, which is what we did. And they were very nice, thank you. Thank you to Canada for their maple syrup, by the way. And today, of course, is also um, the day of the Atherston ball game, which has been going 835 years, I'm told. Um, I did a, a video of it last year, so I'm not going to go again on that. Um, it was a fascinating video and over, uh, I think, 1,500 people watched it. Mainly to see if they could see themselves on it, I think. But that will be in progress this afternoon. And, uh, yeah, so amazing. The forerunner of all ball games. 
by the way, why do the, um, anybody in the USA, why do you call your American football game football when you don't actually kick the ball a lot, you just throw it around? And secondly, when you score, it's called a touchdown. Okay, got ya. But you don't touch it down. You just run into the end zone. Uh, and then usually just throw it down or chuck it in the air or something. Whereas in rugby, the proper game, you score a try because that's what you try to do. And you go over the try line and you have to touch the ball down. Otherwise, it's no score. We call it rugby football as well, by the way, because you'd use your feet a lot with it. A strange world, isn't it? I'm on a diet of ginger biscuits. Oh, anybody that might be interested, this is my iPhone camera. But look at this tree. <laughs> It uh, looks like it's a, an oak tree, but the middle has been hollowed out and it's actually burnt, look. So I don't know what's going on there. I've also noticed stuff come over here. Look, all these earthworks can only be badgers. Badgers, these holes. They like a bit of a slope like that. And uh, so all the diggings can just roll down. And uh, I did notice over here, look, there's a few scrapings in the soil here. And I'm fairly sure that'll be badgers digging for things. They dig after the roots. So you're gonna go down the, the bottom of this tree, which uh, I hope isn't damaged. Well, this track has come past a couple of houses and it was tarmacked up till then. But from here on in, um, it's just a, a farm track, no tarmac, grass down the middle. And, and as I've said, if it was uh, as wet as it should be this time of year, it would be quite difficult, but it's very dry. It's not rained properly for about three weeks. Um, but it's quite exciting to see where it goes. There's even been uh, the Google camera along here. So there's street view all the way along, and I could see that it was um, quite passable. Okay, let's move on, eh? <laughs> So this is the end of that delightful country track and I'm turning on the main road here going up to Kirby Mallory. I make my way through to Kirby Mallory and turn left and head on towards Newbold Verdon. And what better place to stop than the local church which looks quite pretty, I think you'll agree. James's Church. Let's see if we're open. No. Not to worry. I don't want to make this trip too um, long, so uh, we'll just have a quick look around and then go. Mm. The parish notices including, please beware, churches in this area have roof alarms because People are want, I say people, thieves are want to steal the lead off the roofs. Not a good idea. Stay the world, eh? <laughs> Yeah. 
you know why this is called Dragon Lane? Yes. You do know? Yeah, this is Dragon Lane. Yeah. 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 Why is it called that? Oh, God, I've been here all my life. I do not know. You lived here? Yeah, all my life, yeah. I'm 69 years old and I've been here 69 years. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the same house where I'm living now with my brother. Oh, right. Yeah. So you know everything about it? This is a long shot, this is. You live in Newton. I don't know if he lives there or Bedworth. There's a, a, a lad who used to play professional football with me. Okay. Uh, Keith Oaks. No. You know, well, who, who, which team? Peace United. Okay. Yeah. I had three years down there. I uh, got home sick and all that. It, it, yeah. It, you know. Now, just to say, I'm one of the best players around around the village. I'll bet, yeah. And, uh, Got to be to go professional. The, the, the goals are scored and all that. Yeah. Yeah, so so what's your name, sir? Trevor Freestone. Trevor Freestone. I, I scored 33 goals for the reserves. I had one one game, that's all, professional. Scored scored the winning goal against Alshot. Right. In 1973. Trevor, <laughs> Trevor thank you very much. Okay. One of my commentators did suggest that talking to people uh, was a good idea. So there we have Trevor. That was wonderful in uh, Newbold Verdon. Approaching now a big junction across the uh, main road and it's called Bull in the Oak. Um, and this turns left here off towards Market Bosworth. It's very busy along here and if I was living there it might be a bit noisy. Some very interesting barn conversions on the right lot. You just get a glimpse of them. Here's the outskirts of Market Bosworth and this is the road from the Bull in the Oak. You can see here it's the start of the country park and there's a gatehouse here, look, rather grand place really, and some gate posts which are no doubt part of the original country park associated with the big house in Market Bosworth which is the Britannia Hotel now. In fact, here's an aerial shot I took in December last year. And as you can see, the original house and its grounds must have been most impressive back in the day. Having taken a short break on one of the seats in the middle of Market Bosworth, I've made my way over the road to one of the many fine small shops in Market Bosworth and Michaelmas House happens to be selling some of my wooden boxes. So I went in to have a chat with the proprietor, Caroline. <music> Enjoyed the video. Um, the trip to Stapleton, Newbold Verdon, Market Bosworth, and round and back, which was uh, really nice. It's a bit overcast today and it's gotten a little bit cooler now, but uh, it's still been a great trip and the bike, of course, been excellent. So goodbye from me and goodbye from him. Or are you a her? You've got very nice eyelashes, must be a lady. Yes. One you.
Back over the A5, the Roman Watling Street onto Higham Lane in Warwickshire on the edge of Nuneaton and down this road back home. Oh, somebody wanted to know how I might fix my pedal. Let's have a look. Right, first things first, let's take this um, cap off the end. And then, it's a bit grubby in there, it's quite an old pedal. I think this is what's the problem. I think there's something um, worn in there. So, just undo that bolt. For that we will need a socket. So it's this one. Yeah. Right, the whole thing should. Oh, there's another one. Just hold that still there and unscrew the bearing itself now this is where here they come it's like a turtle giving birth look all the ball bearings come popping out now they all are the best way of doing this is to get to just get some tissue paper poke it in there twist it around a bit Let's see what we've got Looks pretty good actually. And here the thing is the bearing point on this end. Make sure I don't lose any ball bearings. Let's just see if we can tidy this up. And this is where there would have been. Oh, 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 what's this? Don't know how well you can see this. But I think that there is worn. So here's the offensive pedal. Unfortunately, I've had them back 10 years. The axle, the bearing on there is actually fine. But this one, as I said, is pitted. So that, that, I've dropped a couple of ball bearings as well. It'd be difficult to get these parts. So the best thing to do is get a new pedal. There we are. Look at this baby. Woohoo! These are nice. Alston pedals. Thirty pounds, by the way. Really nice one. So, pop them on. And if, I can't use the. Um, that's not going to go because there's nothing there. It's a hexagon uh, Allen key on that end. So those have got to go on the bike. I like them. Let me introduce you to my new Alstron pedals. Absolutely beautiful. Let's hope it stops the clicking, otherwise it was all a bit of a waste of time. Anyway, fingers crossed. If you have any comments, please tap them out down below. I love reading them. Thank you very much. And uh, here's the next time. Bye-bye.